Good morning. How are you doing with all of the energies that have been flowing through, especially in the last 24 hours? The Schumann resonance ran white yesterday morning from around, I don't know, about eight central until almost noon. Lots of light coming in on the planet. And then again, last night around midnight for several hours. And I can tell you, I definitely felt it. I've become quite a bit more sensitive to when the light is intensifying on the planet and that energy is shifting and needs to be integrated. And for some people, when that happens, we can feel a lot of energy, a lot of zippiness, very productive, very creative. We're ready to get out in the world and do our thing. And for others, it's a time of exhaustion where they just need to sleep or do some meditation or slow movement like yoga or Pilates and just allow that energy to integrate. And this can change. If I look back at how my body and my energy fields processed all the energy last January of 2020, when the light started coming in on the planet, I used to feel more productive and zippy and excited. And by the end of the year, that all changed. And now when the light comes in, I'm much more tired or I'm awake, but I'm exhausted. You can feel both at the same time. So I noticed yesterday morning, as I went out for my bike ride, that the energy was just a little bit different. And I purposely went out even earlier than I had been because it was supposed to be super hot and super humid. And we were already under an air quality warning, which makes it a little bit harder to breathe with all of that. And I had a target goal in mind to ride and I didn't quite hit it almost, but not quite, but that was okay because I, I enjoyed my ride. I saw a lot of new animals. I, I saw a lot of birds and just kind of communed with nature and soaked up the sun and just allowed it all to move through. Grounded my energy, talked to some people, it was fantastic. And my body was feeling a little bit tight, which is another reason why I didn't push to hit my target goal. But I did take a short walk up into the woods just to see what that was like because I hadn't been in that area before and just to kind of stretch out a bit and it was exactly what I needed. And the energy in these woods was just magic, absolute magic. And then last night, after midnight, I think many of you probably are waking up around the same time every night and then that switches. Mine switched about a week ago, so it's a little bit after midnight, by 1230-ish, I'm awake. And sometimes I'm able to go back to sleep a little bit. Last night, I was not. And when I looked at the Schumann to see what was the light coming in on the planet, what was the energy doing, it was just starting to ramp up. So I'm, I've noticed I'm becoming more sensitive to when the energy is shifting on the planet. So that's something to pay attention to because it really ties into your self-care. When we feel these energies ramping up and they're going to be increasing all summer long and the rest of the year as the collective rises in consciousness, how do we take care of ourselves? Well, yesterday when I came home, and I will say after I did my short hike, I had brought a snack, I brought my journal, and I just sat by a lake, and I had more water, I had my snack, I did some journaling, I just enjoyed the scenery that was there, and then I went home. And for the rest of the day, I think I did three separate meditations, I did some yoga just to stretch out and just to be. I ate very lightly and I drank a lot of water. I also went out for a little bit in the afternoon, but it was just too hot and my body was like, no. Middle of the night was a little bit different story. I kind of laid in bed for about an hour or so, checked all my social media, did a little bit of meditation, cleared my energy, got up and had a protein drink just because I was feeling a little bit hungry and I didn't want to eat and drank some more water and was able to at some point go back to sleep for a while. But I woke up completely exhausted. So needless to say, I did not go out early for my bike ride today. And it's kind of a self care day. So I have a massage this afternoon and it's raining, which is okay. So it'll be just, you know, eating light, paying attention to my energy. I did a meditation already this morning and just flowing with it today. When we just flow with it, everything is easier. It, energy integrates easier. The things that are clearing out leave easier. That's not to say we're not going to feel things, that we're not going to sense things, 
and we might have to really look at, okay, why is this coming up for me again? But it does make it a little bit easier. So when we talk about what's coming up for us as the energy shift, you know, in the last 24 hours, I was able to just allow some new dreams to show up and do a little investigation into some of those possibilities. And, you know, just allow myself the space to say, well, what if, what if I chose that? What if I let go of this belief? What door might that open for me? What if I was willing to put in the time to learn this or to go explore that? What could happen for me? So that was really good for me yesterday. And it allowed, I think, some other energies to move through and things to come up. But also with that, it brought up a lot of things about relationships that I've had and, you know, where was I stuck and where were certain people triggering me and where was I blaming certain people for things that they were triggering me for or for them not seeing, you know, what was possible with the relationship, whether it's a friendship or a partnership, lovers, parents, family, whoever you know, we're all responsible for our part in it. So some of that was coming up. Did a little journaling, just kind of let it go because there's great freedom when we can just let it go. We don't just get stuck in the yucky feelings that are coming up. It's important to feel it, but you don't have to stay there. You can look at why am I feeling this? What is this trying to teach me? And then you can wish it well and let it go. Sometimes it takes a lot more digging and you've really got to just keep peeling off layer by layer to get there, but you can get there. So when we talk about the energies that are still coming in on the planet and things are a little bit quieter now, who knows what it'll look like later today or tonight, but it's important to just pay attention to how your body is feeling. How is your energy feeling? Clear your energy multiple times a day. Do your meditation if you're meditating or practice mindfulness. Go out into nature, do your writing, do your art, whatever it is that moves the energy through you. Do some gentle movement, go get a massage. You know, what is it that you need to do? Eat lighter foods, drink more water, or sometimes we just need that piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> you know, what is it that your body needs right now? And can we do that, give, it, give our body and our energy field what it needs without judgment? Because sometimes, what's coming up for us through our intuition or our higher selves or our guides are kind of pushing us into, well, why would I choose that? You know, and I'll give you an example. I don't eat a lot of red meat anymore. I, I almost never eat red meat anymore. A few days ago, my body was screaming for a steak and I hadn't had one in a month. So I got a steak and it was the best thing I could have done for my body. And I didn't feel guilty about it. I had to really move through a lot of stuff related to food and body over the last couple of years. Um, but I didn't feel guilty about it. It was what I needed. Yesterday, my body said, don't ride the whole target miles that you have. And I was, you know, I'm very much a let's set a goal and let's do it, girl. But I knew if I pushed it, it was not going to end well for me, either physically or mentally. <laughs> Whatever it was going to be, it was not going to be what would be good. So listen to yourself, listen to your body, clear your energy, pay attention to what's happening in the universe, unplug from the collective and do a lot of self care. This is going to be so important for this summer. I'd love to know how you're taking care of yourself. What are you doing for self care? What are you noticing that's shifting about your energy? If you'd like to share in the comments, maybe it will help somebody else who's just starting their journey. And I send you all lots of love today. And we'll see what this week brings and who we are. Have a great day. Bye.